Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of our NASCAR Heat 5 23 mod career mode. It's today we actually start with the truck race results. First we start with the Craftsman Truck Series race results from Kansas where Nick Sanchez got the win. I believe that's his second win of the season. Over Ty Majeski coming home in second. A good run for Caden Honeycutt got third. Ryan Priest fourth. And how about Mason Massey top five. Then Grant F. Finger, Tanner Gray, Connor Zillish, William Sawalich, and Daniel Dye run out of the top ten. You see Connor Jones and Jake Garcia running out the order of Stuart Friesen. Not good races for those guys. Uh, Moffitt and Mozak down 20 to the 26. So Nick Sanchez gets the win here in the Truck Series race at Kansas. As uh, Next up, we're going to look at the second truck race that got simulated uh, during the process. Accidentally, somehow, two got simulated instead of one. And it'll be the Craftsman Truck Series race from the Darlington Raceway. I would have liked the race, but it simulated on me, so I was not able to do so. So the results from Darlington in the Craftsman Truck Series give the victory to the number 23 of Grant N. Finger getting his first win of the 2024 season of course this or this season number three rather of course watching his ticket to the playoffs from below the cut line and finger gets in with a big win so that moves the cut line up a spot then of course another top five for Honeycutt and Sanchez and Majeski they continue to be so strong all season long top five for Stefan Parsons as well top ten for Tony Bradinger very impressive run for her Crafton Rhodes also there in the top ten not the rest of the grid there. See, not to finish his freeze and had a terrible two races being 30th and 23rd. He might fall below the cut line. Ankrum struggling there. And, of course, Timmy Hill running up the order. And then our number one truck did not start the race. So, therefore, cannot be counted toward the race results. So, now we're going to head towards in a few seconds here. Look at the updated playoff grid for the Craftsman Truck Series. After these two races have been simulated. And where we stand in the Craftsman Truck Series regular season. And so where we stand there is that, of course, we have just seven races to go in the Craftsman Truck Series regular season until the playoffs begin. Nick Sanchez is the only driver with two wins, comfortably at the top of the board, and Enfinger becomes our seventh different winner in the points. Just, four, uh, sorry, just three spots left with seven races to go in the playoffs. Ryan Priest, way above the cut line. Your regular season points leader right now. He's chilling. And Tyler Ankrum and Lawless Allen hold on to those last two spots with Matt Craft and Daniel Dye, Ben Rhodes, and Stuart Friesen looking on, trying to find their way back in to compete for the Truck Series Championship. So there you go. I'm Finger Sanchez. Get the wins. There's your Truck Series playoff grid. And now we're going to head to some NASCAR Xfinity Series racing from Darlington. We're of course being here for the Sport Clips VFW Help Hero 200. We are going to be in this race today. Uh, Jeffrey Earnhardt, Ryan Ellis, our friends as we know, and Justin Allgaier, of course, multi-time Darlington winner. So good to hear at this racetrack. Starts in the pole position alongside Ryan Sieg. Incredible qualifier from that Ryan Sieg team. Debuting new paint scheme here for us here, the number 97 GoPro Chevrolet. As we restart on the inside lane here at Darlington, and we are green and underway in the Xfinity Series here at the track. Too tough to tame. We are here in ninth alongside the 15 of Haley Deegan, who somehow finds herself in a top 10 qualifying effort. As we go to the inside of Deegan, take that position away, secure ninth, now chase down the 11 of Christian Eckes and the 18 of Sheldon Creed up ahead. Of course, Eckes has been making some cup starts for Colleague, looking like he might be moving up there. Soon we dive underneath Sheldon Creed, he's been doing some cup starts as well, now flying by Brandon Jones. Leland Honeyman on the inside already into fourth place, into three and four. We send it on the bottom, trying to really lift there to keep it off the wall. We do a brilliant First set of corners for us, getting ourselves up from ninth to fourth, up five spots already, hunting down Ryan Sieg now for third as our Alliance teammate Connor Zillish hops up into second place now, nine to go this opening stage, we give Ryan Sieg a big shot right there, trying to get to his outside, didn't quite have the momentum, he hangs on to it, we have to back off and regroup here, come out turn two, he leaves the door, but we come flying right on through to the inside of Ryan Sieg and clear him for third place and set our sights now on the 99 of Connor Zillish for the runner-up position. So here we are, we're tracking Zillish back down now a few laps later. We go a little bit too high and here comes the 18 of Sheldon Creed to our inside. Creed, I believe two wins already this season. He's up into fourth place. We get a big run of Creed, they'll go to the middle. Now we're catching Zillish at the same time. We're gonna go three wide into turn three at Darlington. We send it in, squeeze Zillish into the fence, pull a hail melon, trying to wall pop, does not work. We damage right side of the car, lose a ton of momentum. Creed takes second away. We drop down to fourth now a few laps there. Sammy Sue's got second. Then we slam the wall. Slam Eckes in the wall again. Hard just being too aggressive, trying to make the outside work. And now we drop all the way down to six at the wall again here in the last lap of the stage. Trying to hold Taylor Gray behind us as Justin Allgaier comes through to win stage one here at Darlington. We survive to bring home sixth place and five stage points in this opening stage. Sorry, yeah, this opening stage of racing. So Justin Allgaier, though, 
your stage one winner in dominating fashion over colleagues Sammy Smith, Christian Eckes, Creed and Custer of the top five. Then, of course, myself, Taylor Gray, Ryan C., Connor Zillish, and Noah Gregson in the top ten. As we move on to stage number two here in Darlington, where we are back here in eighth on the restart, going dive to the inside of Ryan Seek and Taylor Gray, three wide passing up by Seek for seventh, now slamming doors with Taylor Gray for sixth here, some aggressive racing side draft. We send it in the corner underneath him, trying to get underneath the 18 of Sheldon Creed, got into him, use up Creed right there, a little aggressive. I'm not sure the corner, but we go into the top five. The field upstairs still trying to hang to that fifth spot. Five to go on stage two. With the line, Taylor Gray drives us at the 20, puts us in the fence. Taylor Gray puts us in the wall here at Darlington. Gets him to our back bumper, and I am not happy with him right there. Do not appreciate the way he just raced me. Now Sheldon Creed going by on the outside. He's cost us two spots now. We drop down to seventh, trying to hold off Ryan Sieg behind us, who's looking for eight. So we send it here. In the three, trying to get underneath Sheldon Creed. We just hang on his left rear quarter panel right there. Keep him right there, but we don't quite have the momentum. He is the run exit. He pulls back head, feel up there. We're closing back in on Creed. Shoot to the inside of him. Now have a nose ahead for sixth place. Still trying to fight for this position. Doesn't look like we're going to get to Taylor Gray here. He's got a clear Sheldon Creed. We squeeze up into the wall. We both go at the wall again. I temporarily hold the position over Creed. So I guess we're going feel up there. We throw a huge block on Creed, which nearly sends us. Wrecking right there, trying to block both him and Ryan Sieg. And now we gotta let Creed go on the inside right there. And we're loose, bouncing off the wall. We're slamming doors down the back stretch. We saved it, trying to race hard and clean. Some great racing. Here just now we cross over Sheldon Creed and slam him into the fence. We just throw him in there in frustration. And then finish stage two in the sixth position with Sammy Smith now getting the stage two victory. I believe his second stage win of the season. Allgaier comes home second. Eckes third. Huster fourth. Taylor Gray into the top five. And then myself once again in sixth. Then Ryan Sieg, Raja Carruth, Noah Gregson, and Sheldon Creed recovers to come home tenth and earn one stage point. It's a little bit of frustration coming out here at Darlington in the Xfinity Series. Not my cleanest performance, that's for sure. So now back underway with 13 to go here at Darlington around the outside. Taylor Gray for fifth. A little bit of contact through the corner. I mean, I'm already frustrated with the way he raced me there at the end of stage two. And now we're giving him a big shot. Next to the two, we're both in the fence. Racing so aggressive here at Darlington. These restarts, both of us get into the wall. And out of the corner, I just absolutely send it in there and slam Taylor Gray with all of my might into the outside wall. Kill his race. Cost him a ton of positions. And now we hang on to fifth. As you go, the next couple of laps, the caution comes out on the racetrack. And because of the 43 of Ryan Ellis, blows a tire in turn one. Crashes into the outside wall. He's slammed by Connor Mozak. Both cars go crashing. Dawson Crane gets a piece of it, and that's why they call the cautions. Now, just four laps to go here at Darlington. We go on the inside of Bailey Curry and Haley Deegan on the restart. But see, I didn't realize there were only be four to go on the restart. Because I pitted for four fresh tires, and Ryan Ellis and I are the only ones to do so. So now I have to go past a whole bunch of cars to get all my track position back. So that was just a mistake on my part, not realizing how many laps they were actually going to be left when we restarted, or else I would have stayed out to keep that track position. So now we are hauling the mail, and after lap one, we are already up to 22nd on the inside of Parker Retzloff now for 21st at the restarting in 35th. So really quickly move to the field, now we go to the outside of Matt De Benedetto, huge center turn one, door opens three wide, middle between him and Brendan Poole, really getting aggressive, forcing my way through there. Making that work now on the outside of Jeb Burton for 18th. A little bit of contact there going to three and four. We work the outside of him. Send it in there. Use the wall as our brakes like a Hail Melon style. Now on the outside of Almirola. We clip the wall, but we get by the 19th of Eric Almirola for 16th place. And now just three laps. Sorry, now just two laps remain here at Darlington. Sammy Smith in the lead looking for his second win of the season. He got it done at Phoenix. Looking to do it again here at Darlington as we punt Brandon Jones there. Now get to the inside of the 9 for 13th. Send it on ice to clear Brandon Jones. Dive underneath the 92 of Kyle Weatherman for 12th place. And we are just flying back up through the field here. Using the wall once again to 3 and 4. Trying to get back up to Noah Gregson in the 98. Ryan Sieg in the 39. Sheldon Creed to try to get a top 10 recovery here. Coming to the white flag this time by final lap. Presented by Credit One Bank here in Darlington. Can Sammy Smith hold on to win as we get in the inside? Noah Gregson, use him up. Use Sieg up right there in the fence. We go into 10th. Sheldon Creed now in front of us. He's having a bit of an issue, so we dive to the inside of him. I actually use him up sideways. He's almost wrecking. We go into 9th, and I have an opportunity to get by Ty Dillon for 8th place here into turn 3. We give him a shot. Use him up to throw him in the fence. We both get in there. We take 8th away. As they come out of the final corner, Sammy Smith wins in Darlington. Over Christian Eckes, Justin Allgaier, a colleague racing 1-2. We come home in 8th place. Disappointing. 
Of course, after running top six pretty much all night long, just didn't get the run we were looking for as we see your final race results. Colleague Racing, incredible day. Uh, all four cars inside the top ten. Of course, with a one-two finish, Sammy Smith winning, Christian Eckes coming home second, Justin Allgaier won the dominant cars of the day in third, Taylor Gray, Cole Custer come home with top fives, then AJ Allmendinger comes home sixth, Raja Carew seventh. Of course, we come home in eighth, just recovering that finish. Then Ty Dillon and Ryan Sieg ninth and tenth round out your top ten today. See throughout the rest of the grid there. Creed ended up in 11th. You had Connor Zillish down in 16th after starting strong. Not to finish uh, that Parker Kligan was looking for down in 26th. Or uh, Haley Deegan, Connor Mozak there outside the top 30. So Sammy Smith gets a second win of the season here in Darlington. Adding six more playoff points to his total. Uh, as we now move on to look at the NASCAR Xfinity Series playoff grid after this race here in Darlington. Of course, we are not playoff eligibles. You're running for the Cup Series Championship. Uh, Creed Zillish are now joined by Sammy Smith. All three of those drivers all have two wins on the season now at the top of the playoff leaderboard. Shout out to all of them. Of course, Jesse Love, Quaffle Alfredo each have the one win. Custer, Allgaier, Gregson continue to be well, well above the cut line. Same with Roger Carruth, all four of them over 100 points to the good. And Christian Eckes extends his bubble, now 44 to the good. And then Taylor Gray on the bubble, now 19 points above A.J. Allmendinger on that playoff cut line. Kligerman, Retzloff, Ty Dillon have some work to do to find their way into the playoffs. So Sammy Smith gets the win here in Darlington. Now we head for the NASCAR Cup Series, Goodyear 400, here in Darlington. And it will be the next race in our Cup Series season. As we get ready to get underway here, of course, it's going to say it's the Southern 500, but obviously we know it's not. That's going to be the race in the playoffs. So the story of the race today, it looks like Ross Chastain is a little bit slow today, and then Ryan Blaney and Todd Gilliland are each going to start at the rear of the field. Due to failing pre-race inspection, well, Blaney failed inspection pre-race, and Todd Gilland had to replace a transmission before the race started. So our teammate bet on the struggle bus today, and two Fords having to come from the back of the field, the 12 and the 38. They have plenty of time to do so. It's going to be a long race, 92 laps here. We bring back the Best Buy Chevrolet here at Darlington. And the green flag is out, and we are underway in the lady in black. Who will tame Darlington tonight and get the victory? We're going to find out as we, as we start the race here in 11th on the inside of the 20 of Christopher Bell as we barrel off into turn one for the first time today. Right behind the 14, Chase Risco. How about the 51 of Justin Haley starting in ninth place? Beautiful start. So I give him a little shot right there. Go underneath Haley out of two. He gets sideways. He saves it, and we move into ninth place here down the back stretch, clearing Justin Haley. Center sights on the 9 at Chase Elliott up ahead in 8th place. And what a send into 3 and 4. A great corner from us. We get right up to the back bumper of Chase Elliott. All the way to the inside. 3 wide with Elliott and Reddick for 7th place. Reddick holds on. He actually passed Chase Elliott for 8th with a brilliant first lap. Probably one of the best laps we've run all season here. Now we squeeze Elliott into turn 1. Being a little aggressive on the corner entry. Now going underneath William Byron. 3 wide. Squeeze loose. Give Hamlin a shot. Hamlin hangs out of it. We're loose here fighting for seven of everything we have. An intense start to this race here in Darlington. Now we go behind Hamlin. Send him in the corner. Use up Reddick a little bit. Not what I wanted to do. The 45. Now Hamlin squeezing us. So we just completely use him up out of the way. Just drive through him into fifth. A few laps later. Now we go to the inside of Bubba Wallace for fourth place in the 23. Great run and exit of two. We get a nose up behind us on lap five. Carson Hosevar blows a tire into the wall. Goes Hosevar, the second year driver. Goes crashing into the outside wall of the flat tire into turn one. And he will DNF a tough day for Carson Hosevar here. And don't feel there. We send it to clear Bubba Wallace for fourth layer of that lap, but we can't quite do it. Bubba with a nasty crossover move through three and four. He gets back into fourth. Some great racing here at Darlington. We have to regroup and chase them back down here in this opening stage. I feel there. We got to run up Bubba. We dive to the inside, going into three and four, giving it everything we have, trying to crowd Bubba out of room. We get aggressive on corner entry, a little bit of contact. I think he stayed off the wall there. That was really tight, but we clear Bubba barely through three and four to secure position number four. Now, next up, here comes the nine to chase Elliot. Elliot to our inside. Now, Elliot looking for fourth. Now, we got to battle him for this position. Just 20 to go in stage one, but still some great racing. Larson from the pole, or Larson from second, rather, is leading and dominating this race so far. I try to fight by Chase Elliott. Give him a huge shot to fourth. Elliott loses it on the wall. He goes. Oh, what a save by Chase Elliott. Almost wrecked right in front of me. He hits the wall. He saves this. We took fourth away from him there with that aggressive move down to three and four. We go a little high. Elliott right back to the inside. The intense battle continues. Elliott takes fourth back. And now we got Byron behind us 
Our rival giving us a huge shove down the front straightaway. Now 19 to go in its opening stage. Still an intense battle for fourth place, but some great racing going on here at the Darlington Raceway to no one's surprise. Now on the inside of Chase Elliott, a little loose there. Next, a little bit of contact with his left rear quarter panel right there, fighting for fourth. Now going three, four. We dive back to the inside of him, descended in there with a slide job. Come up into him, a little bit of contact with Elliott, but he hangs tight to our outside. A great battle. Elliott takes the position away. What a what a battle between myself and Chase Elliott. It's gone on for three or four laps now, continuing to fight. Just back and forth with his fourth spot. Neither one of us giving up. Elliott now the advance return one. We shoot back to the inside. Elliott here with a great run in exit of two. Right on his left rear once again. Seems we're really good at one and two. Then we struggle on exit of three and four. So we're pretty good at entry. This time we just punch Chase Elliott. Throw him into the fence right there. Being aggressive. Big contact. We hold him right there along our outside. This time though Elliott gets clear with the momentum on exit of four. And he secures the position with 17 to go in this opening stage. We still got to hold off William Byron behind us. Gives us a huge shot. Oh, I'm trying to keep it off the wall. But Byron, now we get into the wall right there. Byron's pressure is too much for us to handle. And a little bit of frustration there. We drop down to sixth. Now on a restart, after caution came out, we restart here a few left there. So we restart here in ninth. We're on the inside of Stenhouse right now for position. Catch up to the inside of the 48 of Bowman. We drive by Bowman for eighth. Chasing down John Hunter Nemechek and William Byron. Up ahead, of course, the 42 running in seventh. We send it in there by him now to the inside of Byron, squeezing him up there. A little frustrated the way he raced me there at the end of that previous restart. So we squeeze him up in the fence, get into the back bumper. Chase Elliott, who is sideways, wiggling the back of that thing for fifth place. He hangs on to his. Byron almost wrecks behind us. 12 to go in stage one. Now we send a big contact with Chase Elliott there. We sent it in too deep, slid way too high up the racetrack, got into Chase Elliott. Not what I was wanting to do right there. And that does move us over into the top five as we now start to uh, pass Bubba Wallace again here. This time for this time I just send it in absolute slide job and we make it stick on Bubba Wallace. Crazy with it. Now Ty Gibbs gets loose and one and two a few laps later. We're looking for third now, our highest running position of the day. Still Larson and Busher one two. We're trying to get by Gibbs for third. We give him a little shot here to one and two. He bounces three four off the wall. We're around. We're spinning off the side of Ty Gibbs. We go around, and there goes all our track position right at the end of the stage. We go from fighting for third all the way down to 18th place. Next time we go into 17th, and now Logano into us. We a little bit of contact with him into three and four. He wipes out hard. Huge hit for Joey Logano on the outside wall behind us. No caution as we go into 16th, and now we go by Cole Custer for a top 15 position. Get very loose on exit of turn two. Almost wrecked the thing trying to charge back through the field. But we managed to hold on in 3 and 4. We clear Cole Custer using a uh, Hail Melon level run here into turn 3 and 4. Got on the outside of Chandler Smith. Get around him here for position number 14. And Sarah Sites on the 43 of Eric Jones up ahead in 13. So now we go to the inside of Jones. Take that position away. So now here we are in the 13th. Slowly but surely moving our way back forwards. So I think we may run out of time. As here we are, three to go on the stage. We got 11th and 12th right here in front of us with Chase Briscoe and Tyler Reddick. We get a nice run through one and two. Go to the inside of Tyler Reddick for 12th place. Take that run. Go right on by. Give Chase Briscoe a huge shot. He goes to 11th. We go into 12th. And now we got to find a way by Chase Briscoe here so we can have time to chase down Todd Gillen. So we just send it in three and four. Throw the slide job and slide right in front of Chase Briscoe successfully into 11th. Now on the last side of the stage, we just run out of time. Just missing out on stage points. Finishing 11th in stage one as Kyle Larson dominates stage one, gets a stage victory in the playoff point. Busher, Elliott, Wallace, Byron in the top five, all those guys who are fighting for position, then Stenhouse, Bell, Bowman, Nemechek, and Gilliland, the rest of the top ten. Gibbs did not get any points either as he came down pit road from the damage from hitting the wall when we both wiped out. So now we restart here in 11th, got some repairs, so lost, you know, it's right about where we were. So now I go to the inside of Chase Briscoe, moving to the top 10 here on this restart. Now trying to go by the 42 of John Hunter Nemechek for 9th. So now here we close in on John Hunter, dive to the inside of Nemechek, just barely right there. Three wide with he and Christopher Bell. We make the pass, now going to 8th almost with C. Bell gets around the outside lane. He's hanging tough on our outside here, down this back straightaway into 3 and 4. Now we set in the corner, give Todd Gilliland a huge shot. He slides, he saves it, but he slows down just enough where we squeeze him on exit. You're just squeezing him into the wall right there. Not the greatest move, but that's secure. Seventh place for us in the caution. Comes out a few laps later when we were chasing down Alex Bowman. And now we pit once again, lose a few spots for repairs from getting to the wall. So restart here in 11 for the second restart in a row. Trying to work our way back forwards. 
through this pack on the outside of Eric Jones. Now drives down to 12 as we are on the outside lane, which is a terrible lane to be here on the restart. We go sliding exit to two, just barely clipped the wall, but it's very only cosmetic damage. I think we're okay. Still working the outside of this 43 car, sending it in there. That's another Hail Melon in the three and four. We've done that countless times today. That secures 11th. Now with 11 to go in stage two, we go to the inside of Jones' teammate Nemechek for the top 10 spot. He's been having a great run today. So we go by John Hunter in the 10th, go by Chase Briscoe as well in 9th, 2 for 1 special there in turn 1 and 2, beautiful corner. And that's a start of the game by C. Bell once again to get into 8th here. So we go by Bell, make that work, into 8th we go. Now chasing down Chase Elliott and Bowman, now we dive underneath Bowman for 7th. And the 3 and 4, we make that pass for these, not quite, Bowman stays on our outside, we couldn't quite clear him there through 3 and 4, so we're going to be side by side down the front straight away. Nine to go in stage number two. He gets around the outside, but we clear him with an aggressive center one, two. We pound it in the wall right there. Pancake the wall, trying to get by him. Narrowly hold on to the position. Secure seventh. Now start sights on Bubba Wallace for six here in one and two. Two off there, we get underneath Bubba. Looking to make that pass for position as we get a huge run exit to turn two right there. And we take sixth away from Bubba. Start sights on Stenhouse now. So having a very impressive top five run here today in Darlington as we get to the inside of Stenhouse as you see we crossed it up there, we went a little bit too high through two now over the inside looking for fifth place here still it's a Hendrick 1-2-3 with Chris Busher in fourth here in stage two we clear Stenhouse for fifth place with that move right there beautiful pass nice and clean we take it away now down the front straightaway we end stage two here in fifth as Kyle Larson dominating this race sweeps stages one and two both playoff points so far looking for a max points day. Hendrick 1-2-3. Larson first, Elliott second, Byron in third, Busher and myself around the top five. Then Wallace, Stenhouse, Bowman, Bell, and Nemechek round out the top ten. So there you go. Hendrick dominating this race right now with Kyle Larson. Again, 1-2-3 in the stage. Now we start here with 33 laps to go in the beginning of this final stage in Darlington. We're on the outside, the 47 Ricky Stenhouse Jr. fighting for fifth position, of course, in the outside lane, not the preferred lane here. We get crowded away up the right, you get very loose right there, but we do keep it off the wall, which is the important thing. So we try to clear Bubba for six here, so as we have always done three, four, we just send it in. This time we end up bumping Stenhouse into the wall right there, stacking him up in front of us. Now we want to do there now. Bubba's crowding me, Bubba puts me in the wall, and I go C Bell. I slam into C Bell for an extended period of time right there. Not at all what I meant to do. I apologize to him for that. I just couldn't control the car when I bounced off the wall in four. Once I finally got wrenched off of him, the damage was already done between us. Now we drop down to eight at the restarting top five. Now he just, this, that, okay, that one's on me completely. I just sent, sent Christopher Bell into turn one. Just gave him a bump and run for seven. Just punted him off in there so we get by him for seven. Now we send it to the inside of Bubble Wall. This is in frustration the way he's been racing us all day today. So we use him up into the fence. Take six the way. Few laps there. Still trying to chase down Stenhouse for fifth. No, smoke up ahead problems. There's smoke coming out the back of somebody's car. One of your leaders. That is the nine of Chase Elliott with an issue going to one and, uh, in the three and four. Smoke pouring out the back of the nine and possibly a race ending incident. But the way it came out, Chase Elliott, Zane Smith, Sheldon Creed, and I, the four of us, come down pit road. So 31st through 34th on the grid because we know we can have the strategy advantage now on tires and fuel so we can pit later than everyone else and we can hope for a yellow when we're still on the racetrack and they're pitted, trapped a lap down to get in position to win this race. So on this race, we start back in 31st. We are hauling the mail, already now into three and four. A little bit of contact with Chastain. We drive by him easily into 22nd. Now we're gonna go by three wide exit of four. Denny Hamlin, Corey Heim in the 20th now in the top 20. 23 to go. Now we dive on the inside at Shane Van Gisbergen for 19th place. Go by SVG, no problem. Now behind the three of Austin Hill for 18th. He crowds us out of room. We drive right by him. Now on the inside of Michael McDowell for 17th place as we are hauling the mail with these fresh tires and the speed we have. Now we go already just barely clip the 13 of Christian Eckes, throw him up into the fence there. And we dive underneath the 8 of Kyle Busch to get in the top 15 and make a nice clean pass on Kyle right there for position. Secure the top 15, now chase down the 43 of Eric Jones and the 21 of Cole Custer. Larson still the dominant car of this race, leading the way completely in total control. We go by Jones there for 14th. Huge run out of two. Now shoot to the inside of Cole Custer. Muir is having an incredible drive back through the field here on this restart. Just flying by everybody. Now using up the 45 of Tyler Reddick there for 12th. We get by him. Now trying to get by the 14 of Chase Briscoe for 11th. We get to his inside. Now all the way for position now with tr just 21 to go. We have charged up now what's going to be 30 spots right here since the, sorry, 20 spots since the restart. 
up from 31st to 11th. Now setting our sights on John Hunter Nemechek in the 42. Huge run on John Hunter. Dive to the inside of him into the top 10 we go. Now chasing down the 48 of Bowman running in ninth. Having one of the best Darlington runs of his career. Probably since that 2020 race during COVID. Now we're trying to chase down the 20 of Christopher Bell for eighth. Now we're on the inside of C. Bell looking for that position. We drive it deep into three and four. Take eighth away from Bell and I'll try to get by the 38 of Todd Gilliland for seventh place on the racetrack. Gilliland and Nemechek have been having impressive runs today here in Darlington. They've done a wonderful job at the front of the field today. So there's 19 laps to go. We are chasing down Gilliland once more here. Trying to get to his outside for position. Not quite there, but I think if he moves up right there like he does, we get a huge run on the inside out of two. A little bit of contact. Still side by side down the back stretch. I'm trying to give him room here. Race him clean. Trying to do my best with Todd here. We drive to three and four. We clear Todd Gillen comfortably with a huge send there. Now, if you guys here, we've caught Ricky Stenhouse for sixth place drive right to the inside of Ricky and get all the way to the inside of Bubble Walls with a brilliant entry to the corner. Our fresh tires can just make it stick better than these guys on older tires. We're going for fifth now, taking that top five spot away from Bubble Wallace side by side here with just 17 laps to go. For a top five position, we clear Bubba into turn one and two. Into the top five we go. Fuel laps there. We're now fourth as Larson pitted the previous lap. And now in comes Busher, Byron, and Blaney. And we will cycle out to be the race leader here in Darlington for the first time today. We are leading laps in this race with just 13 laps to go. Now five laps there, eight to go. We're putting Zane Smith, who's on our strategy, a lap down on speed. And third, but we send it too deep in the corner. Pound the outside wall. Get hit by Zane sideways. We save it and we just throw Zane in the wall there, just trying to hold on to the car. But we have no grip whatsoever right now. As this, our tires are worn, we are just sliding all over the place. And we have some damage. So I'm like, all right, time to come in. So we can't make it to the end right now with our fueler tires. So we come in for our scheduled final green flag stop of the day. Get down on the road speed limit. And the question is, where will we come out? We're coming in for one and a half cans of fuel and four tires. I got one and a half cans just in case we have an overtime restart. I want to make sure I have enough gas. So, And that covered. Unfortunately, we couldn't do a two-tire call. We had to do four. Let's so show there's a problem. I think that's Chase Elliott up there. There was a tire issue up ahead of us. With that problem off in turn one and two, I saw the smoke as we were going through our pit stop. 15-2, we come out way behind. We come out onto the racetrack here in seventh. Now there goes Stenhouse to put us down in 8th place as we come out of turn 2. Here comes Todd Gilliland who flies by and we cycle out to be ninth here. Not where we wanted to be. Fuel ups there. We got by a few more guards are in 7th now giving Todd Gilliland a shot for 6. He slides up the racetrack gets loose. We dive inside of Todd. Now we're going to split Riley Herbs 3 wide down the back straight away. We throw it into 3 and 4 and clear Todd Gilliland for 6th place. Zane Smith on pit road so we pass him for 5th and back here. Watch Chris Eckes to chase Elliott in the nine, blows a tire right into the back. Eckes slams Sheldon Creed in the wall. Elliott himself goes into the wall. Caution comes out. So now we, have a, we have a green, white check. We restart with just two laps to go here in Darlington in regulation. We restart here in the fifth position. Larson Byron in the front row. Blaney Stenhouse. How about Blaney? Started at the back of the field, has driven up to third. Looking for seconds. We go by Sounds of the Reserve for fourth. Huge run through one and two. Trying to get by Blaney and Byron, but we got loose. We got loose on exit of two right there. Pushing so hard down to three and four. We get aggressive. We send it on the bottom all the way to the door of Kyle Larson. Squeeze him up out of room. We are side by side for the lead and for the win here at Darlington. What a turn of events. We are on slightly fresher tires than Kyle Larson by like six laps here. White flag in the air. Final laps on Kettle and Bank at Darlington. Can we get by Larson? We squeeze him up on the fence right there. Rubin is racing. Aggressive battling for the win. We squeeze Kyle Larson into the wall and are clear for the race lead on the last lap down the back stretch for the final time here in Darlington. In the three and four for the final time. Looks like we are going to do it with a aggressive late race restart we get into Kyle Larson and we win at Darlington our fourth win of the season and continue to be the championship favorite with an incredible late race turn of events there thanks to the Chase Elliott tire failure we restart close to the leaders yeah make a pass there through one and two on Senhouse and get the aggressive three wide dive bomb on Blaney and Byron into three and four and get all the way to the inside of Kyle Larson as we burn it down in celebration and we were just side by side with Larson squeeze each other in the fence down the whole front straight away and then one and two there we just got into him roughed him up a little bit put him in the fence 
you know, basically I Hamlin Larson right there and uh, used him up, but we got the win. It's our fourth victory of season number three, continuing to impress here. Most wins of anybody as we burn down the front straightaway here. Of course, our other wins, the, Day the Daytona 500 on the road course at Mid-Ohio and at Talladega Super Speedway. So we get it done here in Darlington with a green-white checkered restart. It all works out for us. We get to victory lane, a great strategy that we made in that final stage to get the track position and put us in that spot to go for the win as now we celebrate in victory lane with the crew. So now your final race results, of course, here from Darlington. We get the victory. Our fourth on the season with the aggressive move and the overtime restart. Ryan Blaney comes home in second. An incredible race for him coming all the way from the back of the field. Kyle Larson, dominant car of the day, sweeps the stages. We use him up on the restart. He still comes home for a good point stay in third. William Byron in fourth. And how about Ricky Stenhouse? Top five almost all night long and brings home a fifth place finish. Very impressive run from him. Christopher Bell, Bubba Wallace. 6th and 7th, and Todd Gilland, he also came from the back like Blaney, comes home for a great 8th place finish, he was top 10 all night long, good run for Gilliland, then of course Gibbs and Bowman round out the top 10, then see out the rest of the grid, still a good top 15 run for Nemechek and Cole Custer, um, some guys didn't get the finishes they were looking for, you know, Chastain down in 28th, you had Hosevar, DNF with a tire failure, Chandler Smith, Chase Elliott who is so fast, DNF in 38th, Logano got crashed, and of course, we get the victory. So we get the updated playoff grid here from Darlington. We, of course, continue to extend our lead to the top spot. Now with four wins, doubling Bowman's two. So we remain at nine winners through 12 races in the regular season. Still 14 to go until the playoffs. William Byron, Christopher Bell continue to have astronomical points margins above the cut line. So they are chilling. Ty Gibbs, Chandler Smith, Tyler Reddick, still all of them. Almost a full race to the good, looking strong. And Ross Chastain, 31 above the cut line. And Josh Berry on the bubble, 26 points above Eric Jones, who's looking in with Kyle Busch and Zane Smith. So until next episode from the Charlotte Motor Speedway, I hope you all have a good one.